just want to take a minute to show you how the different options for selecting your user location are applied in our new PASVIS capability. So if we go into the Starlink data and we bring up PASVIS, the first thing that it's going to do is ask for your current position. And the easiest way to answer that question is just to put in, just to click on the first button and then let it pick the location based on where your browser thinks you are. And you can always verify that location by clicking the home button and jumping up above where you're located. And then you can additionally zoom in to see it, you know, more precisely where it has you located. But if for some reason it's not picking the right location that you want to use, you can come down to the bottom and click the red X to delete your location. You'll be asked again to select it. And so if it turns out that you want to pick a location from the globe, then you can come in and do the same kind of thing. You can zoom into the area that you're at. So let's say we were actually on Oahu over in Waikiki instead of on Maui, then we could position the circle on the location uh, where we're observing from and then hit select. And again, once you go in there, if you want to verify that the position was indeed selected correctly, you can do that. Now, if that's still not what you want to do because you want to look at passes for a location that you're currently not located at, you can always come in and delete that location and enter your location manually. Now you can put latitude and longitude if you happen to know that uh, accurately enough, or you can go in and put an address. So if we do something like 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue, we'll find out that that comes up on the list. We can click that, we can say select, and we'll go to that location on the ground. You can almost make out some of the landmarks from the ground level, but again, if you go back up to the home view and then zoom in, you can see that we're in fact actually located at the White House for that. And, and of course, you can do that for not only a street address, if you happen to know your street address, but even something simple like your your city. So if you were in Paris, you could start to type Paris, France and select it. And again, have the location picked for you automatically. And, and for most cities of a reasonable size, you're gonna be able to have your observations be fairly accurate regardless of how precisely you uh, locate them on the map. So it really depends on exactly how you're applying it. But for naked eye observations, uh, any of these methods should give you something appropriate. So I hope you found that useful. And if you have any questions, please feel free to let me know on Celestrack. Thanks.